Good day, YouTube. I hope you're doing good today, all you guys and gals that'll be tuning in. I uh, just kind of wanted to show you what we're going to do now to this house. This is that bathroom I redid. I put a sheet of glue on on that corner post right there that separates the shower from where the toilet goes. And I put a piece of glue on in that ceiling right there. It was looking bad. And Jeff's in the process of painting all I'll try that. to uh, get you a little video of this room. This is in the upstairs. We've already hauled some junk out of, or a lot of junk that the previous people left behind. We got to finish cleaning it up. I'm going to make this back here on this side. I'm going to wall this and I'm going to make a closet. That's going to be a closet, all that back there. Make a good sized closet. We're standing right now, what's going to be the closet. I'll wall that across there. Make this a door right here. And then this is going to be a bedroom, which is going to be a pretty good sized bedroom. Pretty decent. Uh, it is going to have the kind of sloping ceiling. What I've got to do now is I've got to cut two befores to go across here to make a flat spot so that when they come in with the sheetrock, they'll have a flat spot for the ceiling. I'm going to have a guy come in, blow in the insulation in here, and uh, blow the ceiling with insulation all over on this side, this side, blow all that in, fill all that in with insulation. We'll clean it out somewhat, and then fill that in, and then that's going to be walled with sheetrock all the way up. Well, I'm going to show you this today, uh, me putting the two befores across the top right here just just for the heck of it i am going to do you a video on this room here from start to finish but it's not going to be this video this video will end today and i'll upload this but i wanted to tell you one thing i was going to start doing that i thought thought might be of little interest to you of a little bit of interest is i'm going to when i go into a house to redo it now i've owned this house right here for i think maybe five years uh, I owe nothing on it. I have this house free and clear. But I'm going to start keeping up with expenses from start to end of what I spend on a house and get it ready to rent. Now, where I think that'll really be of interest to you is when I've got a house that... Um, and, and let me tell you this. The reason this upstairs was never finished out is when I first bought the house... Um, I finished out the downstairs down there and got it, you know, rent ready and rent worthy. And then I, um, a, a couple of this, that elderly lady came along and she wanted the house like it was. She didn't need this upstairs up here and she, she didn't want the expense of it and so on. So she was ready to take it like it was. So she, they used this for storage up here. That's why it was never finished out. So I'm going to keep up with, like on this house right here, the expenses from when I started on it until when I get done. I've never done that on any of the houses before. And, uh, and then let you know. But where I think that'll really be of interest to you is in a house that I have in, that I've not got to do this much extensive work to it. And it's a house that's been rented. And then people move out. How much does it cost me to get that house ready to go? You know, and, and that varies because I have people that they move out of the houses and they look like they did the day they moved in. And then I have the houses that you've seen on previous ones where I've got to haul trailer loads of junk off. I've got to go in and, you know, do all of this work to it and whatnot. And, you know, uh, and just kind of let you know what it costs each time a house turns over. For you that may be thinking about getting into the rental business, I don't get a lot of questions on YouTube about it, but I get more questions around the community. You know, people will come up to me and they'll say, hey, I've been thinking about buying me a rental house or, you know, I'm going to buy a rental house. And they ask a few questions and this, that, and the other. And, you know, it it's not as big a factor when you've got 
one, two, three, four rental houses, but you start getting five, 10, 15, you start getting 20 and your expenses, you know, can go up on those. Uh, just like what I'm running in with a family, um, this couple that has not paid rent in four months, now going on five months that I've lost the revenue. That's a house I bought in 2020. So I'm making a house payment, insurance payment, taxes on that, and no income coming in off of it. So those are things you always have to, you know, be ready for and look for. And it isn't fun, I can tell you that. There's no joy and fun in it. But anyway, just wanted to let you know what I was going to start doing because I, I just was thinking that would be of interest to you that if I'd let you know when a family moves out how much it costs me to get that house back ready to rent. So we'll start doing that. Of course, the expenses on this one's going to be a lot because... Um, this house had like the hotel type window units in it that had heat and air conditioning in those and so i took that out and i've put in um, those mini splits i put three of those in i'm going to put one up here which will have four um, so the expenses on getting this house ready to go is going to be a lot more and maybe not as much of interest to you but i i think it really will be on my other houses when they turn over what does it cost to get that house ready to go again? So let's get these two befores up and we'll quit talking about that. I'm gonna find the center of these boards here. I think it'll help me when I go to put them up because we gotta get them level. We want a level ceiling as much as possible. Now I have a bunch of these blocks because I don't know if you can see, but the two befores are, are just lapped like, I don't know how to show you like that. So you've got each one of these are different. So we're gonna come in here and throw a two before. So I draw my line because I'm gonna try to position that kind of straight up. I'm feeling like that's gonna help me get pretty close and then I can do that know where to put my block and eyeball that get it like straight up to there well she's pretty level right there I have to bring Jeff up here get him to help me. That's really, really close to right in that crack of that ceiling right there. What do you think? Will that work? I got so much light going on up here. Makes me look like I've been living in Alaska. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. You may have to clean your paintbrush up and come up here and help me a little bit. that 
Got your on your leveled off two, leveled mm -hmm. off two right there. Yeah. All right. Now I'm coming down to you. You touch a note, you're uh -huh. two down there. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Now move your level. Move it. Yeah. Move okay. your level just a second. All right. Now you can go ahead and do it one more time. Be all right. I'd rather double check it than to have to take it down. Come down here and touch mine too. There you go, touch your mother too, right on your line. Right there. Yep. You level, mm -hmm. looks good. Yep. For a couple old rookies, we're struggling at this. This, <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't easy right here. For us anyway, I know you, you all that are good carpenters y'all just boom 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 come right down through here and some of you that are good carpenters maybe you can tell me what would be the easiest way to do this we're we're getting them level but you see we're we're doing this and then we're running them that away and i need three arms <laughs> but they're looking good well we got uh, one two three four five of them one two three four five uh, I'm out of two by fours. I got to get some more two by fours. Well, let me show you what we're doing, uh, what I got done, and what's kind of going on in this upstairs. That's going to be the closet back behind that chimney. And so I've started doing my wall across here. I'm going to get my wall built first. I'm, I've contacted the people that's going to come and uh, look about putting insulation, you know, blowing that insulation in and that kind of wet insulation that goes up in here. <clears throat> and uh, then I've already talked to a sheetrock guy about coming in doing sheetrock. And then I'm going to then cover the floor and level the floor out after all that. I'm going to build a wall over here, which I'll do in a few minutes. But you can see my laser right there. I tried to use a laser and set it up over here, shoot a beam across here. But this chimney's not straight up and down. So it was cutting my, my line for the that so I, I couldn't use that so what i had to do was measure off of that wall to here over in that corner to here and measure and it was 103 inches and you know got it squared up that way and hope that wall's decently straight so that's kind of what we're working on uh i'm gonna build this wall right here right now got this wall built so that's the doorway Guys, I thank you for watching. Just wanted to make kind of a little video, tell you what was going on, what I was going to do. Y'all have a blessed day. God loves you. Jesus died for you. I enjoy being with you.